What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And we are back. Sorry about that. You know, I've been trying to like come up with new things, new videos to come up with, and it's not been easy, especially during a pandemic. Um but today's video is gonna be pretty fun. I'm basically gonna be answering uh your guys' assumptions about me. I went on uh Instagram and I did a quick little story saying, uh, you know, you know, what do you guys assume? Like what do you guys you know can I speak today? I'm basically like what's your guys' assumptions of me? Like do you think I am like this or that, you know what I mean? So uh yeah, I'm gonna be answering those and I think we're gonna have a pretty fun time because there's definitely some interesting ones and some ones that are really, really true where I'm like, wow, I'm pretty impressed. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna start off. Um first one is you're the life of the party. Um that's actually a, a I, I just said definitely a clever one. I I would say yeah I do. I mean obviously I can't really party right now during times that are going on. Um, but uh, back in normal times, yes, I, I occasionally like to be the life of the party. I mean I'm always I always like to have a good time. Let me put it that way. I always I always like to have a good time with my friends. Um, so yeah, my goal is to kind of be the life of the party in a way because I just. I I just like everyone's I like seeing everyone have having a good time around me. Like I do like having a good time personally, but when everyone around me that is having a good time, that makes me happy in a way. Um, but yeah, I, I guess you could say I, I'm the life of the party sometimes. But another person who's the life of the party is my best friend Parker Panel. He's also life of the party for the same reason. He just he just likes having a good time. So yeah, that's actually that's a good good assumption. Ooh, another one is you're a clean freak. Uh, okay. Let's be honest here. I, I like to clean my room. Like, you can't really see right now, but it's pretty clean. I like to clean my room. Like, my bed's not made that I'm, like, you know, twitching out. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it, yeah, I just don't like, I, I don't like my room messy. Um, but if you see my bathroom, my bathroom can be a mess sometimes and disgusting. And I need to get better at that. But I like to keep most things clean, but the one thing I need to work on is cleaning my bathroom. So, yeah. I'm somewhat of a, I'm not like a clean freak, but I like, I'd like to be as clean as possible. If I kept my bathroom clean, then maybe I'd consider myself a clean freak, but not right now. Oh, this is another good one. You wear your kicks everywhere, even to bed. Uh, so fun fact about me is I like to wear my shoes a lot. Like, I do wear my, sh I do take my shoes off like a normal person, but I get roasted by my friends a lot because basically I'll wear my shoes around the house. And even I'll like end up wearing my shoes like right before I go to bed sometimes. And it's the weirdest thing. And I don't know why I do it. I can't explain it. I can't really explain it. But like it's just something I've done ever since I was younger. Um, but uh, yeah, it's my friends who are watching this are probably like that is so true. Because they always give me a hard time for it. It's annoying. But yeah, I mean, I guess you could say I do wear them at pretty much everywhere I'm at. Oh, and then my friend Cammy said, you got your life together. That is the complete opposite truth. I mean, I know, I mean, I know what I want in life and things I want some, most of the time, but like, I'm honestly, but honestly, <laughs> I don't have my life together. I mean, no one at this age only has their life together, and if they do, then props to you, but I don't personally. There's still things I'm, there's still things in the future that I'm trying to figure out, like, oh, like, it's like, I always think I'm I'm always still like because like I'm getting older and so I'm like I'm scared because like I'm approaching adulthood and that's a nerve-wracking thing. I'm excited but also scared at the same time because it's it's new it's a new adventure. But um yeah I mean I don't have my life together. There's definitely still the things that I that I want and if that makes sense can't really be too specific about this. But like I'm not gonna lie, eventually I'm gonna want a girlfriend or something like that again and. Um, and other things, and, uh, yeah, so, I don't have my life together, but I'm working on it. I think everyone else, especially this age, is working on it, but I don't have it together. I wish, I do wish. Oh, someone said you're secretly a cat person. I'm definitely not a cat person. Uh, I love dogs. Of, I have three little dogs, fun fact, but, you know, I have a Pomeranian, a Chihuahua, and a Pomeranian Chihuahua mix. Um, but eventually I want a husky, but I've never been like a huge cat person at all. 
you're a high school dropout. Nope, I'm not a high school dropout. I actually have my diploma right here, which I will show a quick video of that in a second. But um, nope, I graduated class 2020, baby. Definitely not that. Um, oh, that you want to change your style up. Yes, that is, this is so true. Someone said that you want to change your style up. That's a great assumption because I actually do want to change my style up. Um, I'm kind of working on, you know, being... I wouldn't say bold, but doing things, you know, just not dressing so basic. I mean, there's times where you can dress basic, because, I mean, coming up, with an, coming up with an outfit is so, like, time-consuming sometimes, I feel like. But um, I am trying to change up my style. I'm glad people have been noticing that, because I've been trying to kind of put that out there. Sorry if you hear my dogs in the background. They're just barking. Oh, another one is you haven't always had curly hair. And, uh, hi, Alicia. <laughs> uh... I, I don't think, okay, so I found out I had, like, curly hair during the, or during quarantine, because that's when my hair was, like, growing out, and so as I grew out, it was getting curlier, I guess, if that makes sense, um, but, I mean, I'm guessing I didn't really, I don't remember having, like, if you look at me in the past, I had, like, a, a bowl cut, my hair was decent, had some decent length to it, and it doesn't look, like, curly there, so I'm guessing it did change texture over the years, so, yes, I didn't have curly hair. In the past, oh, this is a really good one. You sometimes put other ha others' happiness before your own. I mean, I try to. Um, I really do because I do like seeing like my friends. Like I've said before, like the whole life at the party thing. I like seeing my other friends enjoying themselves and being happy because then that makes me happy. Um, because I feel like when you're making other other people happy, it makes yourself happy anyway. So then, why make you why why make it the goal to make yourself happy? Obviously, self-care is very important, but at the same time, you should also put a goal out to your... You, also, you should also set aside a goal for yourself to make your friends happy because it'll just make the whole environment better. Um, but I do try to set aside others... Pe I, do try to <laughs> I do try to put other people's happiness in front of mine because sometimes it's really important because that person could be going something that's harder than you're going through at the moment, so they may need you. Um, so yeah, I just think it's definitely really important to set aside other, pe other people's happiness before your own, so yeah. Oh, another one, you don't go to church on Sunday. Um, well, fun fact about me, um, I mean, I was never baptized or anything, but I consider myself a Christian. Um, I, I go to church sometimes, like I'll go with my sister but I haven't been a long time, but I normally I'll go with her, but no, I don't go every Sunday. But I do want to make that a goal eventually, uh, especially when, you know, things start to open up, maybe go to church more often, especially with, like, you know, Parker, he goes to church. Um, he can't really go right now, but, like, he used to go a lot, so I might try to go with him sometimes. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely something I want to work on is my faith and everything. Um, but, yeah, you want to dye your hair. Um... That's a good assumption. I don't I don't know if I want to dye my hair. I've said this in my other video. Like, I kind of like it. Maybe I might dye it like a darker brown. I don't really know what I want to do yet with my hair. But currently, I like it where it's at right now. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. You don't like LA. Uh, I love LA. Honestly, that's that's a complete wrong assumption because I really do like LA. Um, I'm not going to lie. There's some people in LA that... There's people in LA that can be, that can be fake or some... It's just that that's, that's, that's you'll meet people like that everywhere. I mean, that's the one thing that's kind of sucks sometimes. But I mean, you'll you'll meet people like that everywhere. Yeah, but I mean, I do love LA. I mean, you have the beach. So I, I've been learning to surf. So I've been trying to take advantage of the whole of being at the beach. Um, you have the mountains if you want to go up snowboarding during the winter time, which I've already done. Uh, you have the valley. I mean, and then you have like you can go see the Lakers play the Staples Center if you want to during a normal time. Um, Good. There's drive-in movie theater places. I mean, there's so many things to do. Cool eateries. I mean, it just, they have everything. So, let me tell you, LA is just, uh, it's it's a place I'm like, anywhere else. You prefer sunsets over sunrises. That is kind of true. I do prefer sunsets over sunrises most of the time, but I, when I, because I don't, I'm, because like, I don't wake up early, so... If I woke up early, maybe that'd be different, but let me tell you, there's something. Sunrises, 
sunrises are something else, let me tell you. I mean, what, what am I saying? Sunsets are something else. I mean, I, I love to watch them. They're really, it just, and it's cool to go like to the beach and go to a lookout point. I actually did that this past summer. Um, I went with like Armani, Parker, and a bunch of other people. And we went and watched the sunset in Laguna Beach. One of my favorite beaches, by the way, in LA. Or SoCal. Um, and it was so cool. Oh, so cool. And then another one is, this is kind of related to this, the same assumption. You are a morning person. I am definitely not a morning person. Any one of my friends, if my parents, grandparents, sister, brothers watching this, they can all agree with me on this one. I am not a morning person. I take forever to get up. That's the one thing I've wanted to work on, especially with like my sleep schedule, because my sleep schedule is terrible. Let me tell you guys, my sleep schedule, my sleep schedule is just so bad. But hey, we're working on it. Um, it's a work in progress. Okay, but no, I'm definitely not a morning person. Uh, that's funny. Okay, so we got two more, and the second to last one is that you want to try new things. That's a good one. I want to try new things. That is very true. I like to try new things. That's the one thing I've been trying to do. Um, shout out to Parker Panel, by the way, my best friend, like I've said before. He pushes me to do things like that. So uh, I'm glad I, and I have other people like that, like that like to push me to try new things. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's what my whole goal is now is to try new things. Especially every year, like that's what I tried to do last year and I did a little bit and I'm gonna try to do it more this year, but it's always important to try new things because if you just stay in this like this comfortable bubble, then what's the point of living? Because I feel like the whole point of living is, you know, being risky or or adventurous, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. I know it sounds pretty cheesy, but it's true. Another assumption of mine is I have more girl best friends and guy friends, and that's not really true. I mean, I both have a small group of uh, guy best friends and girl best friends. They actually about the same um, same ratio in a way, so I wouldn't really say I have a, more of this or more of that. Um, it may look like that, but it's not true. I do kind of, I just have a small group, like a small circle of friends, and then I have a bunch of, a small circle of like really close friends slash best friends, and I have, a, you know, a bigger circle of friends that I don't always hang out with, but when I do, you know, I have a great time, but I don't always, you know, don't always get to see them. Um, and then I have some like good guy friends of mine that live out of state or something like that. Um, like advanced, for example, Case Walker, you know, he lives in Colorado, so I don't always get to see him. But uh, yeah, I mean, that assumption is kind of not true. It may look like that, but it's not really that true. But uh, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is kind of pretty fun to kind of like answer your guys' assumptions of me. But but that is, it's pretty cool. To, it's pretty cool to see your guys' assumptions about me. Um, but, you know, I'll be posting every Monday and Thursday. I promise I'm going to be on my stuff about posting every Monday and Thursday. It's just got to come with new video, as idea, new video ideas. It's hard, it's hard sometimes because you can't always, you know, you can't really collab with people right now um, because of the pandemic. But um, I got some exciting things and some cool ideas and cool new videos for you guys to see. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Comment, turn on that post notification bell, tell me what other videos you'd like to see from me, preferably where it's only me in the video or maybe my parents, because you know, I can't really do any clouds right now. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.